welcome to the Terror Television. First up, it's hammer time. That's right, Hammer Horror is back, baby! It was just announced that the previously announced Dr. Jekyll Project starring Eddie Izzard is going to be distributed by the one and only Hammer Studios. Who exactly will Izzard be playing? It hasn't been confirmed, but it also hasn't been denied. Obviously, we're hoping for Eddie Izzard in the titular role. Either way, this is one we are really excited about. Speaking of new imaginings on old classics, it was also announced that Rob Zombie's take on the Munsters will be rated PG. A PG Rob Zombie film? What? Record scratch? We can get the rights to that, right, Jason? A record scratch? Listen, I know some people were like freaking out about this. I'm actually excited about it. Like, it's the Munsters, the epitome of family horror. Like, Herman Munster is like the ultimate TV dad. So I kind of like, I'm excited to see Rob Zombie's likely, probably slightly darker take on the Munsters. But I'm also at peace with knowing that Herman Munster isn't gonna go like all Captain Spaulding on us. There's comfort in that. So I'm here for that PG rating. I think they're gonna turn out something really cool and I will forever lament the fact that I was not cast as Eddie Munster in this iteration. In other really cool news, we've got a trailer for Evil Dead, the game. I know what you're thinking. This is very cool news. How could you possibly make it cooler? I'll tell you how. Not only do we have a new trailer, this trailer is narrated by Ashley J. Williams, Bruce Campbell himself taking us through gameplay and giving us a little bit of a sneak peek. Go check out that footage over on the site right now. South by Southwest kicks off this weekend. I am in LA bringing you virtual coverage. Jason will be there in the flesh, bringing you cool footage and coverage of activations, some interviews, etc., etc. Ty West's X is of course the huge one coming out of South by Southwest this year. But if you're not at the festival, do not lament because that's gonna be in theaters next week. Some of the other titles at South by Southwest that we're excited for, we've got The Cellar, Deadstream, Bodies, 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 Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which makes me think of Describe Your Life with a movie title. If you are attending South by Southwest either virtually or in person, be sure to stop by and show some love to the short films as well. We'll be covering some of them. We've got Blink, Moshari, and Wild Bitch. Wild bitch. Wild bitch. So we'll have some cool South by Southwest coverage going on over on the site, along with some interviews rolling out over this next week. Speaking of cool interviews, we have an exclusive interview with Joe Russo. No, no, no. This is a horror show. Joe Nightmare Cinema Russo talking about his upcoming project that's going to be on Netflix, The Inheritance. Joe describes this essentially as House on Haunted Hill meets Agatha Christie, and we are all the way here for it. Now that one's not out just yet, it's an upcoming project, so you can't watch it this weekend, but you know what you can watch this weekend? I'm gonna tell you what you can watch this weekend. Off season on Shudder, Mickey Keating's latest is now streaming. We've got an exclusive interview with the two stars over on the website right now, and we've also got an exclusive convo fango with Mickey Keating himself. Bust out your Aloha shirts, trust me on this, and go check it out. All right, gang, I finally saw the Batman and I am way more obsessed with it than I ever could have imagined in a million years. The score, the seven, the saw, the crow, the silence of the lambs, gritty 90s crime emo vibes, obsessed. Why am I bringing this up to you right now other than the fact that I've been thinking about it all day? This is a great question. I'm talking about the Batman right now because we've got an article over on the website breaking down the horror DNA that runs through the veins of the Batman. It's a really fun piece, go check it out. But be warned, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. It is, it is like seething with spoilers. So please don't go and read that article unless you've already seen The Batman. This segment of the show is called Deadlines. Deadlines, deadlines, deadlines. Your last day to vote for the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards is March 31st. This is rapidly approaching. So if you have not voted yet, please Go to the site and get those votes in. This year's Fangoria Pride shirt is now up for pre-order over on Fright Rags. 
that's for sale this week only. 100% of the profits are being donated to the Transgender Education Network of Texas. Pre-orders end Sunday night, so please make sure you head over to Fright Rags, pre-order those Fangoria Trans Pride shirts, and we've also got the Rainbow Pride pins. Get those orders in, let's blow up those donations. And our subscriber deadline is coming up this week. If you want Ty West's X cover with Jenna Ortega, two grotesque for store shelves hitting mailboxes only. If you want the X cover in your mailbox, you've got to subscribe by March 15th. That is the last day to subscribe. When I say X cover, it sounds like I'm like X, like a former cover. I mean X, the letter, the movie, X, X cover. Got it. And today's jam of the week that Jason is going to tell me we cannot get the rights to is Groove is in the Heart. It's been stuck in my head for a couple of days. So just like think about it in your head and we're going to like dance it out together. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After this, go put on Groove is in the Heart and just dance it out because it's pure joy. That's all I've got for you this week. If you are at South by Southwest, please have an amazing time. Be safe. I will be living vicariously through you. If you see Jason, make sure you stop and harass him. Harass? Nice. Nicely harass. As for the rest of you, have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week for more The Terror Television. Wow. Okay. Wow, Angel Melanson. Get it together, kid. Fuck.